Guys, I love this show. Tell me a little bit about each of your characters and how did you decide you wanted to shape your characters and after reading the script and knowing about the book? Uh, I played Libby Epstein. She's an old friend of Toby's and they reconnect when he's going through his divorce. Uh, and reconnecting with Toby and Seth causes Libby to take a deeper, closer look at her own life and where she feels like it falls short. Yeah, yeah, I play Seth Morris. Um, um, still a bachelor after all these years, and I think uh, reconnecting with Libby and Toby causes him, likewise, to re-examine his life and um, even though they're both going through uh, a, a bit of a crisis in their family life, he still um, is some longs for that. Uh, uh, I think that reawakens in him a bit of a uh, longing for family in his own life. What is it about your character that you feel that you wanted to have an audience resonate with? What qualities that you wanted them to connect with for each one of you? Uh, I think that I what Libby's going through and what she's feeling is not unique. Uh, I think a lot of people can identify to waking up one day and being like, Oh my God, this is my life. Like my real life. Uh, I've made these decisions. Uh, I've gotten married. I've had children. I've quit my job. I've moved to the suburbs and this is my life. How did this happen? How did I get here? How do I reconcile being this person with the person I feel like I am inside, which is like, a, I think for a lot of people and for Libby, certainly it's like who she was in her twenties. And how do you grapple with this thing that literally everybody goes through, but feels so, it can feel so uniquely painful to you as an individual. Uh, for me, there wasn't a goal so much, and this isn't even a theme, but uh, I do think it's important. Seth, on the surface, is sort of obnoxious. He's got a lot of, you know, he's he, he's got a, you know, perhaps superficial or at least, um, uh, 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 you know, mostly pleasure-seeking lifestyle. But um, I think he's also naive and sweet, and 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 um, I think. I wanted to, it was it was important to me, or I think for the show, that you can like him and that you can like him with his friends and his friends can like him. And I think um, um, you, you still got to care about him. And and um, I think his him being a sweet dummy is uh, uh, helpful in that. Yeah, it's true, though, because usually that guy is... So obnoxious. Yeah, <laughs> very unlikable in, in like uh, TV and it was film. Off but in reality, like I've got lots of Seth characters. How would you describe your character in three words for each one of you? How would you describe your characters? I would describe Libby as stuck, uh, stuck, suffocated, and lost. Those are dark, but uh, yeah frivolous unmoored kind yes absolutely now if i know there's so many layers to this show and i took away so many things if there's anything you would hope audiences would take away when they watch this series what would that be for each one of you oh, there's so many I, I honestly if 10 people were in a room and had they'd all watched it and they got 10 different things out of it that would be the best yeah. uh, totally. the best takeaway because that's how i experienced it yeah. I, I feel like, you know, more than a lesson, although there's lessons to be found, maybe chiefly uh, other people's perspectives and being aware of that. Um, um, I think a comfort, I think it's a comfort to see yourself represented on screen in any way that any of it resonates with you. And I think it's also um, a way to, for me, you know, I, I I feel like so many stories are coming of age or awakenings or or um, thought shows that have a lot of self-reflection in them are about people in their 20s. Or, and, and I think the idea of being my own age is that it just keeps happening and you, you keep, you know, finding yourselves at new cross yourself at a new crossroad and a place you've never been before with new questions. And it's no less interesting, maybe more. And um, um, and so I think I think just like camaraderie in our shared uh, romance and misery. Yeah, I think the only people that think 
people in their forties have their shit figured out are younger people. Yeah. You know, yes. it definitely doesn't feel like that when you're in it. But thank you so much, guys. I love to show you guys a great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.